Alrighty, wild kids, welcome back. We're gonna go ahead and do example numero cuatro. So let's go ahead and get started. So number four is asking us to find the equation of J. If J is a quadratic equation where the graph is translated two units to the right and five units down from the graph of F. And if you remember from example number three, the graph of F is the parent function Um, with the equation f of x equals x squared. And we also know that the graph of j goes through the point 0, 3. And they want us to write the equation in vertex form and in standard form. So what makes this different than the other ones is that there is no graph to go off of. But I'm going to go ahead and give myself a visual. So I know that the graph of f, if it's the same as the one from example three is a parent function or is the parent function of a quadratic. So it's got the equation f of x equals x squared with a vertex at zero comma zero. Now the graph of j is translated two units to the right and five units down from that red one. So that would put that vertex um, down here at two comma negative five. So two to the right and down five. And we also know that it goes through the point zero comma three. So I'm going to go ahead and just give myself a quick sketch of that. So just looking at this, it looks like the graph of J is going to have some whole number positive stretch because it's still opening up, but it does look like it's a little, it's going to be skinnier. Okay, so if we remember the structure for the vertex form is what I've written in black here. And so the first thing that I want to do is substitute in 2 in for h and negative 5 in for k. So I'm, I have y equals, I don't know what a is, x minus 2 squared minus five. Okay. So now I've substituted that in. Okay. The next thing I want to do is substitute in, um, the values of zero comma three in for X and Y, because what I want to do is figure out what that stretch of the blue graph should be. And to do that, I need two points. So I've got the vertex and I've got another point. So I know the point zero comma three is on the graph because that's what they told us. So I'm going to plug in zero in for X and I'm gonna plug in three in for y. So when I plug those values in, I get three equals, I don't know what a is, zero minus two squared minus five. And so now everything is substituted in and I can go ahead and start simplifying. Okay, so when I start simplifying, I get three equals a, 0 minus 2 is negative 2, and I'm going to copy down the rest of that equation. Okay, following order of operations means I'm going to take care of any exponents I see, and negative that exponent is acting on the negative 2. So I get 3 equals negative 2 times itself is positive 4, so I get 4a minus 5, and then I can work backwards to solve for a. So I'm going to add five to both sides of my equation and I get eight equals four A. To finish this off, I'm going to, to divide both sides by four. Eight divided by four is two. So I get two equals A. So that means then that the stretch is going to be two. So the vertex form of my J graph is J of X equals two X minus two sorry, my pen is being weird, 2x minus 2 squared minus 5. So here is my vertex form. Okay, the next thing that they want us to do is to write this in standard form. So in standard form, what we're going to do is expand our vertex form. And we're going to start off by expanding that x minus 2 squared. So I'm going to rewrite this 
as j of x equals 2 x minus 2 times itself minus 5. Okay, the next thing I want to do is multiply the x minus 2 times x minus 2. And once again, you can set up your lattice box. If you're setting that up, it's going to look like this. You're going to have x minus 2 on the top, x minus 2 um, on the side over here. You're going to multiply the stuff inside, and you should end up with something that looks like x squared minus 4x plus 4. And if you need to see that work, here it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the x minus 2 times x minus 2 in my equation with x squared minus 4x plus 4. So your equation now looks like j of x equals 2 times x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then don't forget to bring down that minus 5 all the way at the very end. This is that minus 5 I'm talking about. Don't forget that. Okay. So from here, we're going to distribute the 2 to everything inside the parentheses. So now, after doing that, we get 2x squared minus 2 times negative 4 is negative 8x, and then 2 times positive 4 is positive 8, and don't forget that minus 5 at the end here. Okay, from here we can simplify, and we're left with j of x equals 2x squared minus 8x plus 3. And there's my standard form. Now, if you remember, standard form gives us the y-intercept, and the y-intercept is this last number here, that constant, that plus 3. The point that they gave us was 0, 0,3, which was actually the y-intercept. And so I know that I've done the problem correctly. You can also double check your work by just going ahead and expanding it over again or testing in the point 0, 0,3 into the equation and seeing if you get a true statement. Thanks for watching.